Brave New Voices. Brave New Voices. Brave New Voices. You speak swear in your mind? Our language survived to the passing of flowers. In 1896, the last reigning monarch of Hawaii, Queen Lilo Kalani, was not prisoner in her own palace. Communication with the outside world was prohibited. Thus, newspapers were snuck into her room, wrapped around flowers. For months, the queen and her people wrote songs and stories hidden in Hawaii. So as to converse without the overthrow and provisional government knowing, it is because of this we know our history. The language of hidden meanings come now. First written Hawaiian poetry. Songs and dance for the medium in which we decoded their denotation. The their denotation, denotation through common. Speaking of flowers, but meaning children. Well, my ka ike kalo ike oha. The branch is a reflection of the terror root. We, we are, are a reflection of our genesis. genesis. The most intricate euphemism that ever existed. And you have to understand history and culture to, to the cryptest language. Had a deep in the dictionary through the soft and vocal cords. The grasp the root of the word that people would chat. Just to understand their messages. This, this is common. Heard. The, the language of commonality was no longer an option, so our old just evolved as our words would die. Our language survived with the passing of flowers. Our ashes survived with the passing of tongues. A dying language, perhaps the dying culture, our flowers, our children. The ones we promised to die for words surviving, so we sent our stories, wrapped our children in a blanket of words, hoping they'll hold on to their meanings. Passing of language. Oh, yeah. Yeah.